Hello YouTube fam, your girl is going to be doing a closet clean out today and I'm actually running late. Ikea is getting ready to close. My girl Christine is going to be meeting me at Ikea. We're going to grab some new hangers so that I can, you know, do the whole shebang, take all my old, the, all, the, my, all my old hangers out, put them in and just reorganize everything in my closet. So we're going to be getting rid of, uh, I can't talk today, getting rid of a lot of stuff. So um, I'm running late in time. I don't really know what to say, but I'm going to go ahead and go now. Let's get on with the video. So I want to reorganize my closet and I need new hangers. So I made Miss Christine come out here with me. Five minutes to close at Ikea <laughs> to fucking grab hangers. So Ikea has these really specific hangers that I like that they're really flat so that when you stack your clothes in the closet, they lay like perfectly. So I really fucking wanted those. So here we are, five minutes to close, booking it. There's like nobody in the store and I fucking love it. So. Imagine the store. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no, you can't leave. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> but I will keep you guys updated. We're, you know, Ikea is a fucking maze and we're just, you know, zooming, trying to power walk. So we'll update you. We'll update you. We found the hangers. I, I can't remember how much these are. How much are these? I think they're like a oh yeah they're a dollar ninety nine for a ten pack so <laughs> you guys looking for some good ass hangers right here you see how flat they lay love them ten out of ten come get yourself some hangers <laughs> I think we got enough hangers. <laughs> I think we got enough hangers I fucking hope bro watch me get there and it's still not enough I'm gonna be so fucking mad <laughs> our favorite favorite spot they restock everything look at this. <laughs> Let's see if they have her fucking plan. I think they do, by the way, that she was running. And I'm over here crooked in the side. This this cart is a struggle bus. They don't got it? They don't got it? No. Are you serious? She no. said this fucking no, one. <laughs> this shit, yeah, that's actually ugly. Damn. What about that fiddle? What about this little fiddle one? <laughs> well, let me just take a gander real quick. <laughs> hmm. We secured some plants for Christine, and I still have my 20,000 hangers. And now we're waiting in line. We're the literal last people in the store. <laughs> but we secured the bag, so it's okay. All right. I made it back home. Me and Christine hung out for a little bit, but now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my closet, my closet, <laughs> my closet. And I wanna show you guys my husband's closet with the new hangers. And then I'll show you what my closet looks like with my old hangers. And I just, they are chef's kiss because you'll see, you'll see in a second, here we go. So just a quick little look at my husband's closet. This is what I'm talking about, how like perfectly flat they lay. And it just, it looks so satisfying in person. I don't know if you guys can tell that much on camera, but I just love the way this all looks and how it's just clean. And it also has these little hangers for straps and it doesn't have the divot like my other hangers have that get, always gets caught on my clothes. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my closet now. Okay, so here we have my closet. You can clearly actually see the difference with the hangers. They're just bulkier. A lot of my shirts have this divot right here because of this this actual divot inside the hanger. So it leaves like these marks on my clothes. I hate them. Um, I got these all when we first moved in from Walmart a long ass time ago. So I think it's time to take these out and just start over. I have all my pants over here. Well, this is just some of them. Some are in my um, my filming room. And I have the very small amount of like dresses and rompers that I never wear that I've had forever. And then I have all my tops here. I actually have all my shoes organized at the bottom here. This is actually supposed to be one long, but I actually broke them apart and made them into two long things for shoes. So these are all my sneakers here. But yeah, we're gonna go through all of my clothes, determine what I'm keeping. 
So everything that I will not be keeping will be going to my mom. I ship everything over to her and she goes through everything and see if she wants to keep anything. And then the rest she sends to my cousins in the Philippines. This is actually something that we've always done since I was little. Me and my brother would get all our stuff together and my mom would take it and we would go and ship it to my cousins in the Philippines. And it was so cool seeing pictures that my tita would send over all of them wearing the our clothes and it was just a special experience so that is what we'll be doing with all of the clothes that i do not keep so we're gonna go ahead and get organizing slash getting rid of shit <laughs> so first we are going to be going through all of my jackets slash hoodies i'm pretty sure that's all of them yes it is these are all my jackets and hoodies and we are going to be going through first so first off we have this cropped hoodie this is definitely a keep i do wear this pretty consistently i'm gonna throw these hangers over there so she is a keep and i have one of my favorite dark sport, sport hoodies definitely a keep then i have this cropped jean jacket I do love this jacket, so I am going to keep this. I don't wear it as much, but it brings me joy. So we're gonna keep. This is a jacket that I thrifted a while ago, and then I cropped it, and I love, I love it. So we are definitely keeping. This jacket was actually a gift from my man, and I only, actually, I don't even know if I'm worn her, because she still has the tag on it, but. This is what she looks like. Let me look in the mirror. Oh yeah, no. Definitely a keep. I'm sorry. Um, I love my jackets and hoodies, so this is gonna be a harder, a harder decision to make. This is actually a vintage jacket from my mom, from Gloria Van Vanderbilt. Oh my God, why am I? And I just super cropped it, and it's like a micro, like one of those micro crop jackets. Definitely not getting rid of that. And then I have this cardigan that I love to snuggle up on in just ch on those chill days. We love her for keeping. Then we have this jacket from Forever 21. I think this is gonna be a donate. I never, I never grab this jacket ever. This is a jacket, well it's a sweater that I got from TJ Maxx forever ago and I love this jacket so much. Sweater and we're gonna keep that. This is from my friend Camille's shop and I absolutely love this hoodie. It's so thick, comfy, and soft. Cannot get rid of this. Definite keep. This is such a when I had a phase with the cardigans. <sighs> She's gotta go, sis. We never wear things like that anymore. That's a go. This one I actually do like because of how thick it is. It's a really thick material. So I think I'm gonna have to keep her. Next we have this blazer that I thrifted, but when I thrifted it, um, your girl didn't have these big ass shoulders that I have now, and it is so tight on me. Let me see. <laughs> I don't even know if it's gonna go up, but I had some growth in my shoulders slash biceps, and I love the blazer. I, yeah, no, nope, it's too small. So that is a go. this super nice leather jacket that I bought. It is a size 6 um, UK. I think it's a size 2 US. Yes. That I got from Topshop. It's a really great quality leather jacket. But I also outgrew it. I can barely put this on and I only wore it like three times before I outgrew it. <laughs> I think this is going to have to go with this. But I love her so much. She's so pretty. So we're gonna keep. We're 
we're gonna keep. This jacket I got from Zaffle Zaffle like three years ago. I don't know if she is the moment anymore. Let me look in the mirror. Oh, but she's cute! similar to this one but it's in a darker brown and you all know I love my browns so I think this is gonna be a keep I can put it on oh yeah I think she's gonna be a keep oh definitely a keep she is a keep for sure then I have Actually, this is brand new. Just bought this. You might have seen this in my uh, vlog that I just posted. So, still has a tag on it. Keep. This is a definite keep. I also thrifted this at the uh, swap meet. Love this jacket. Cannot get rid of. Also thrifted this from the, sw uh, the same swap meet. This is a vintage Nike windbreaker. She was kind of expensive, but I absolutely love her. This hoodie, it was my brother's. I, you will see a trend. I take a lot of my hoodies from my brother every time I visit. So this is my brother's hoodie. Keep. This is one of my Diosa Fit hoodies. So cute. I cropped it. We love her. This is a keep. See what I mean? Like, it's getting hot. I just hate it. Next, we have this zip moment that I thrifted. I don't know if we're really feeling her anymore. Let me try her on and look in the mirror. I don't think we're gonna keep her. Let's see. Kind of a vibe, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep. I think I'm gonna keep. Next we have this other jacket that I thrifted and it's so soft. I think this is going to be a keep. I love all of my thrifted pieces, just some of them tend not to fit correctly, you know? She's going to be a keep. I love a layered moment, so we're going to keep. This is a Barbell Brigade hoodie that my girl Ren sent to me, so this is definitely a keep. And this pile is huge, it's just starting to fall over. This is another one of my brother's hoodies that he gave me, so this is a definite keep. This is a quick silver hoodie that my man's got for me, and I love it because it's so comfy and soft, and thinking of me and randomly surprised me with it so I'm gonna keep that so this is my Diosa Fit Windbreaker definitely love this jacket and then this is my Filipino Sun hoodie absolutely love this jacket you can use code tip at cuyate.com to save yourself some money absolutely love Another barbell brigade hoodie. Love keeping. As you can see, I love my hoodies. I love my hoodies. Next, we have my Diosa Fit Crop Jacket. Y'all need this. If you don't have one already, you need this. Definitely keep. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these on hangers and time lapse that. <laughs> for you guys and then we'll move on to the next section of clothes.
to the next section of my closets here i have flannels cardigans crew neck sweatshirts um some long sleeve button ups and then over here i have just crop t-shirts t-shirts and then like little tank tops and all that type of stuff so we're going to be going through this next and this is a lot you guys can see now why i bought so many hangers this is only the second pile and we still have a lot more to go so ah, here we go okay so i guess we're gonna start with the the button-ups because i love to layer with these and let's see here is a keep for sure I thrifted this definitely a keep I love how thick and warm this is honestly the best like pretty much all of my flannels are thrifted and they are the best quality they're thick and they're so cheap so highly recommend thrifting if you guys never have um, and then I got this which is also thrifted love this we're gonna keep And then I have this little, it's not really a button up because it doesn't have any buttons, but we love her. This is a keep. This is also thrifted, also another keep. Another flannel, I don't know why I almost forgot the name. Another keep. Then we have this shirt. I Know if this is really my style anymore it's cute but it, i don't think it's me so i think we're gonna have, go ahead and part ways with that but ever since the new year started actually not really the new year ever since my family left from visiting me i've kind of been in this funk and i always have this thing of changing things up like I'll change my hair, I'll change the way that I do my makeup, I'll, you know, try out a new style of clothing that I've never tried out before, um, I'll go and rearrange stuff in my house, um, so I've actually rearranged stuff since the last time you guys saw my house, and I know that was only a few weeks ago that I did the house tour, but I already did some rearranging, got some new furniture, got some new plants, um, just redecorated, it just a change makes me feel so good and it makes me feel like I have this little fresh start and since I work from home like being in the house all the time just seeing that little change just makes me so happy just going through some some of my clothes it's just like another step of change that I needed to just have like a little reboot a, fre a fresh start if you will and it makes me feel good so if you guys need a sign to clean out those clothes you haven't worn in months or that just don't bring you joy anymore this is your sign so we are gonna continue with the big ass pile. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably speed this up. Um, everything over on this side is gonna be the keep pile. Anything you see that I throw over here, that is gonna be the donate pile. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get through, it, through this as fast as I can. Supernatural, if you don't know, this is my favorite TV show. And this is my favorite episode, so a definite key.
my t-shirts, my last tank top, and then all of these are just oversized tees that I like to wear slash sleep in. So that is what's next. And then we all have the pants. Obviously you can see I love pants. So that's why I have so many of them. Um, probably won't be getting rid of too many pants because I'm a pants hoarder and I love all of these pants. So don't expect me to get rid of any pants. to show you guys literally how many hangers I'm getting rid of and I'm honestly surprised that I have this many left over but seriously this is insane I had no idea that I had this many it's insane um, but here's a close-up of the pile of clothes that we're getting rid of and I'm gonna actually vacuum seal these and then pack them in a box in order to ship them but I think I'm gonna FaceTime call my mom and see what she actually wants because it's kind of expensive to ship stuff in um, large amounts like this. So I'm going to have her go through everything with her and see what she wants to actually give to the Philippines. Because it's really hot over there, so they don't really need jackets and stuff. So I'm going to see what I'm actually going to need to donate to um, a thrift store or whatnot. So let me go ahead and deal with this mess. doing the hangers the time lapse makes it look a lot faster than it was because i went and did my guest room closet and got all of the extra hangers that i had in there and replaced all those with the new hangers so i actually don't need to return those other hangers that i have because me and my husband store some of our extra like bigger coats and sentimental clothing in our guest room closet so I went and did that. But now we are going to go ahead and do the closet reveal. I'm really happy with how it looks now. Um, to some, the before and after are not a huge difference, but to me it is. Y'all guys saw how many clothes I got rid of. And honestly, I'm so fucking happy with it. To me, it looks cleaner, sleeker. So here we go. Enough rambling. Let's go on with the closet reveal. <music> I did color coordinate according to the category of clothing because I like to keep my categories like in certain areas. So here we have jackets, um, start off with black, fades down to blues. And then I here have like windbreakers and smaller jackets. Then I have, I go into hoodies. 
here and then I go into crew neck sweatshirts here then I go into basically collared throw overs I don't really know what you would call them but I like to use them for layering like flannels and all that type of shit and then I go into like smaller cardigan sweaters and then my few long sleeve shirts that I own because it's so hot here so I never really have to reach for those then I go into crop tops um cute little cropped tanks and oh there's a piece of hair <laughs> um and then just going on and so forth and then I have all of my t-shirts and then I have all of my jeans you can tell that I love light wash jeans um and then I got rid of a lot of dresses. A lot of these I kept because they're sentimental. Like this one was for my best friend's uh, wedding. This one, um, I had a special trip in Miami in. This one, I also went to another friend's wedding in this. And then this I'm saving for a special occasion. And then these are actually dresses that I do occasionally wear, but I don't really wear dresses. But here we go. We have them starting off with lights and then to darks. And then a one pop of green back there. And then here are all my shoes. All of these heels I very, very rarely wear. I used to be into Vans a long time ago. And I just don't have the heart to part ways with my Vans. I got some more Vans down there. Some Sanooks back when I used to actually wear those. Um, some Pumas. And then all my Nikes are pretty much over here with an exception of this adidas and this adidas and that and there's even more shoes up top over in between the clothes there are shoes in here see there's some boots hidden and then i have all of my higher boots over here hidden as well but that's it you guys Earlier, I was talking about some changes that I made in the house just to make myself a little bit happier. So I want to show you guys those changes because I'm constantly changing things in my house. That's why I waited so long to do a house tour because I'm always changing things, changing things, changing things. But I'm going to show you guys some of the changes. I don't know if you guys care, but I just thought I would share it with you. But I redid my little setup over here that I had. I used to have a really big plant, but I moved that into the guest room. I got this new plant from Target. Um, this I DIY'd myself and then I add dried eucalyptus that I had already. And then I just kept some of my books, moved one of the books over there just to give it a pop of color. And then I actually just got this new chair because the old chair that I had here, the legs broke. But honestly, I love this chair so much more. And I like to move this into my room to do my makeup. So absolutely love this chair. I got it from Ross and it was a steal. It was only, I think $40. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the guest room with the sun out so that you could feel the vibe. I just feel like the vibes are immaculate in here now. And this is what everything looks like. It's so cute. I'm in love. I'm in love. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, I am so tired. What time is it? It is 3.02 a.m. and I am exhausted. I... Still haven't eat dinner yet. I haven't ate eat. I haven't ate dinner yet. So I need to do that. Um, honestly, didn't think it was going to take this long, but it literally took like almost four hours to do everything. And it's so funny because the time lapses make everything look like this. And probably when I edit this video, it's probably going to be like a 10 or 15 minute video. But in reality, this shit took like four hours. So oh, I am so tired. I'm honestly glad I don't have to return um the hangers i don't know why but i get super anxious at certain stores about returning things i don't know if anybody else is like that i just i don't know i get really weird when it comes to returning things i don't know why um but glad about that so i have some spare hangers you know to make the closet grow more <laughs> and do another cl uh, closet clean out in the future but I hope you guys like this content. It was a little bit different. Um, this year, I obviously wanted to get more uh, active on YouTube. I don't know if I mentioned that to you guys. I, I've kind of dabbled in the past, but I really want to get active more on YouTube. I plan on trying to do at least two videos every single month. That's my minimum, at least. So hopefully, I can stick to that. That is it. I'm going to go ahead and go now. I hope you guys have a great whatever time of day you are at. Okay, bye.
until next time.